Hear ye, hear ye. The machines aren't taking over because they already have. Esports is a billion dollar business that keeps growing with each passing year. Technology is pivotal to its success, so it's no surprise that AI is having a stronger influence on the sport with each passing year. But will the technology created in esports trickle into the real world? And could AI actually completely take over esports? My earlier message may have given that one away, but let's discuss, shall we? Technology is having a greater and greater impact on all different types of sports all around the globe. From video reviews in football, American, to video reviews in football, soccer. We are seeing an increasing reliance on technology in the sporting world. And it can also be a great way of harvesting data and stats. But there is no sport that has been affected so rapidly by technology and AI than that of esports. This is unsurprising seeing as esports is based around technology. While some people don't seem to quite understand the appeal of esports and its popularity, no one can really argue how big it is getting with a market of over a billion dollars US, with it projected to reach 1.8 billion in 2022, as well as 6.6 .6 billion hours of esports being watched last year alone. The numbers are crazy, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. And what is crazier is the impact that AI has on the sport. Traditional athletes train hard, putting hours and hours of practice into the sport of their choice, and eventually working on their diet and training regime. Esports athletes aren't much different, with them often picking a game of their choosing and putting in hours and hours of practice until they finally find the best way to win said game. That often means playing against other people to better your skills, and work on your strengths and weaknesses. Now, AI serves as that other person. Through e-coaching software, AI can act as your training partner, acting as someone with a similar skill set where the player has to adapt and improve themselves to win. But it's not just the person who can get better, but the AI and it will constantly change to provide a new challenge for its subject. This means the athlete has to continually improve to win, and this form of training can make them some of the most formidable players around. This means that these athletes can stand out in an oversaturated crowd, and their AI backing gives them a huge draw. This then makes investors and financial backers more likely to support an athlete, as well as make them stronger in the competition and more likely to win the grand prize, meaning that they can spend more money on more AI to further improve. It becomes then a full cycle. To compare it to F1, Mercedes have one of the best drivers in the sport, as well as the strongest technology. Each helps to improve and evolve the other and draws in more money, effectively making a monopoly at the top. By playing with AI, you can easily find advice and areas to improve by the systematic way it can track and record your data and tell you where your strengths and weaknesses lie. This way of real-time tracking is more accurate than even the ones used in traditional sports such as NFL. The AI can also give you an insight as to where you are losing percent and where you are gaining more accurately than a human coach, who will most likely always be subjective. And as we mentioned, the bigger the amount of money you have means the bigger amount of money you have to spend on this AI coach. This keeps the circle in motion and allows more and more funding for these softwares, meaning they will continue to improve themselves. It's an old saying, but sometimes you have to spend money to make money. But it doesn't just work for potential investors looking for players, but for teams in need of cash flow. They can take their data and the skills they have learned through AI to take to a potential pitch and to make them seem a more attractive option. But also, software like Fan AI, which gathers huge amounts of data on teams and players, meaning they can provide more transparency. The computer can also devise game-winning strategies and courses of action, meaning you just have to do your thing and play the game. Because the AI reads the opposition so efficiently and effectively, it can continue to go with the flow and provide the best approach. For example, if you are playing a shooter game or a soccer game, the AI can tell you where you are weakest or where the opposition likes to attack from and allow you to take counter-offensive measures. This makes you less vulnerable and gives you a secret weapon to take to the enemy, just like Radar in World War II. This can work well for teams too, as helping out the individual players can increase the performance of the teams as a whole. But if you are skeptical of the AI and wonder how successful it is according to eSports Network, AlphaStar AI achieved the level of Grandmaster and is now capable of beating 99.8%. And let me tell you, I am not in the 0.2%. This means that the strategies given by AI should certainly be taken seriously. It also raises the tasty prospect of AI battling against AI as athletes find ways to beat the other, acting as the AI's host as they try to develop a number of different tactics and plans to try to outsmart the other. It could make for more exciting gameplay, less errors, and athletes all performing at the highest ability, which will make for more competition as well as the excitement as we mentioned. Forget the Super Bowl, or the days when LeBron would take on the Warriors. 
or the pinnacle of sporting matchups like Federer vs. Djokovic, or Fury vs. Wilder. We could possibly be speaking about esports players and athletes in a similar and global way, which could only help business improve further. If people want to see the big matchups, they are more likely to pay money to see it, meaning that there will be more cash revenue. As we said, businesses also tend to back people associated with AI, as they have a higher win rate. So, to summarize so far, AI can give you a game plan, optimize your performance, and bring in a ton of cash. But of course, that's not all. AI also provides an anti-cheating software, and will analyze and monitor whether it believes cheating has occurred or not, which can lead to players being banned and minimize the risk of cheating. AI also provides facial recognition software to increase fan engagement, and provide two of the most hated words on the web, personalized ads. But this means it can draw in larger audiences. While the numbers are crazy and the sport is certainly popular, AI could draw in on the fence crowds or find new viewerships. People may not know they like the sport or know what to get into, but AI can sculpt the experience to what they would like to see. It could also house chatbots that facilitate your needs more accurately and interpret the understanding of your request leading you to the content you want to watch or the merchandise you'd like to buy. AI can even go as far as picking a team and act as a scouting agency to find and record individual stats and performance ratings. Companies such as Rival AI actually analyze video footage and break down performance into ranking, seeding each player like a draft. This means teams can find the top players, which makes overall from a more competitive league, at least in theory. AI is also used as a fair and impartial moderator, and even broadcastings. For broadcasting, the AI will analyze the viewer's needs and patterns in order to create more interest. AI can even cut and create their own content, taking footage from existing matches and cutting it into promo reels before instantly uploading it to social media. Soon enough, they will be writing scripts and even providing the voice of- Wait a minute, they're coming for my job! See, it's already taking over. There is even equipment that will help speed up the process of AI taking over the sport, with the likes of computer gear that will learn your habits and focus on the areas where you need to improve. For instance, you could buy a computer mouse that tracks your habits and behavior, and maybe see where you're lacking, say if your reflexes are too slow. But it's not just the fact athletes need AI, AI needs esports. Esports acts as the platform where AI is honed and developed for the real world, and it trains itself just as much as the player. The goal for AI companies is that the money received and the data collected can be taken to tackle issues in the real world. With the amount of cash coming in, they will certainly have a surplus, and it allows them to try and work on other projects such as self-driving cars, because the AI is storing data in regards to human choices and error. By understanding humans in esports, it can start to understand them in real life. Therefore, the deeper grip it is gaining on esports gives it a stronger grip on the real world as well. We are more and more likely about to see the AI and software development in esports interspersed in mainstream society, and probably quickly become a main staple. So, maybe the question isn't actually AI taking over esports, but is it actually taking over the world? Maybe we should get into that question another time, because movies like The Terminator and Eagle Eye tell us what just might happen there. Could AI and esports work without human presence? If an AI can give an almost perfect strategy, it isn't totally unlikely that down the line we will see an AI taking on another AI. In some sports, people love to see the underdogs win, but in others, people want to see the perfect game. But would the lack of a human presence impact it? YouTube channels such as Yellow's Marble Run have proved that you don't need people to make a competitive and exhilarating sport to gain a huge fan base. Could the same happen in esports? There are already AI tournaments, but at the moment, this involves humans and humans learning from the AI. Well, for that, we'll just have to wait and see. If like the Turing test, a computer can convince us they are human, let alone beat us, then it is possible that AI teams could gain their own following. Whether or not the leagues become as popular as human-based esports, that's another issue. For now though, AI is certainly becoming more and more important to esports and is continuing to be a major aspect of the sport. And regardless, Esports provides such a great cash revenue for them that they will continue to develop their systems in the league. So to answer our own question, while AI may not take over esports entirely, it will certainly continue to be a major influencer in the sport. Watch out everyone, the machines are here to stay. What did you make of this discussion? Are you an esports fan? Do you think AI is a good thing or a bad thing, not just for the sport, but for the world in general? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for this and more interesting content.